Hello everyone, I am Imtal Kush. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 22. A, a total charge Q is distributed uniformly throughout a spheroidal radius R equal to 12 cm. If the charge density is given by rho equal to 4.7 mcal per meter cube, find the total charge Q. The volume charge density rho is equal to dQ over dV, where dQ is the infinitesimal charge in the infinitesimal volume dV, from which we can write dQ equals rho times dV. If we take the integral of both sides, we say that integral of dQ is the total charge capital Q, and since rho is constant, it can be taken outside the integral sign. Therefore, we obtain Q equals rho times integral of dV. By the same way, integral of dV is the total volume of the sphere. Then, we obtain Q equals rho times V. Since the volume of the sphere is 4 pi over 3 r cubed, then we can write 4 over 3 times pi times rho times r cubed. Now we substitute the numerical values into this formula. As a result, we obtain the total charge as approximately 3.40 times 10 to negative 5 coulombs. or 34 micro clones. Ok, let's solve part B. A total charge Q is distributed non-uniformly throughout the sphere of radius R, which is 12 cm. If the charge density is given by rho equals A times R, where R is in meters, and A is 4.7 millicoulombs per meter to the fourth. Find the total charge Q. dQ equals rho times dV. We are given rho as A times R. And dV is known as 4 pi R square dR or simply 4 pi times A times R cubed dr. If we take the integral of both sides, the left hand side, that is the integral of dq, becomes the total charge. And on the right hand side, since 4 pi and a are constant, then we can take them outside the integral. So we are left with the integral of r cubed and the endpoints of the integral are 0 and capital R. The integral of r cubed is r to the 4 over 4. Fours are cancelled, so the total charge is obtained as pi times a times r to the 4. Now we put the numerical values into this formula. Therefore, we obtain approximately 3.06 times 10 to negative 6 clumps or it is 3.06 micro clones. Ok, we are done. Let's solve part C. C. A total charge Q is uniformly distributed throughout a spherical shell of inner radius R1 as 8 cm and outer radius R2 as 12 cm. If the charge density rho is 4.7 millicoulombs per meter cubed, find the total charge Q. Since the charge is uniformly distributed throughout the spherical shell, we have the volume charge density as total charge over the total volume of the spherical shell. 
From this, we obtain the total charge as rho times V. The volume of the spherical shell is the difference of the volumes of the outer and inner spheres. That is, 4 over 3 times pi times R2 cubed minus R1 cubed. Or simply, Q is 4 over 3 times pi times rho times R2 cubed minus R1 cubed. Now, we insert the numerical values into this formula. So, we obtain the total charge as approximately 2.39 times 10 to negative 5 coulombs. Or 23.9 microcoulombs. Ok, this is the answer to this part. Let us solve part D. D. A total charge Q is non-uniformly distributed throughout a spherical shell of inner radius R1 being 8 cm and outer radius R2 being 12 cm. If the charge density is rho equal to A times R, where R is in meters and A is 4.7 millicoulombs per meter squared, find the total charge Q. DQ is found by the formula rho times dV. Here, rho is A times R and dV is 4 pi R squared dR. Or simply, 4 pi times A times R cubed dR. Now, we integrate both sides. Integral of DQ is the total charge. On the right hand side, since 4 pi A is constant, it can be taken outside the integral. Then we are left with 4 pi A times integral of R cubed. The integral limits are R1 and R2. Since the charge starts at R1 and it is over at R2. Since the integral of R cubed is R to the fourth over 4, total charge is obtained as pi times A times R2 to the fourth minus R1 to the fourth. Now, we put the numerical values into this formula. As a result, we obtain 2.46 times 10 to 6 coulombs or 2.46 microcoulombs. Ok, this result brings us to the end of the discussion of this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.